Always wear proper safety equipment when working around Margo Supplies Zon Electras. Ear and eye protection is necessary. First, inspect your deployment site. Always place cannons on level ground. It should be free of tall grasses, shrubs, or other fire hazards. And never point the Electra towards flammable objects. We suggest you rake the ground in a 3 meter circle around the Electra. Next, visually check the cannon for broken or worn parts. Ensure the metal tube is not rubbing against the frame. Replace any damaged or broken parts. Next, hook the Electra up to batteries. Do not hook it up to propane at this time. Open up the control box. When connected with power, the digital clock will light up. First, set the shot number by using the white dip switches. Numbers 1 and 2 determine the number of shots in a series. Dip switches 3 through 6 determine the amount of time between series of shots. Consult the manual that came with your Electra to configure the number of shots and time between series. Your Zon Electra is capable of firing only during pre-selected times throughout the day, with up to four on-off periods in each 24-hour cycle. First, set the current time. Hit the mode button. The digital display should read 9999. Now, Set the current time using the hours and minutes button. Remember, the clock is on 24 hour time. 13.05 is 1.05 p.m. Now hit the mode button. The display furthest right shows number one. This is the first time during the day that the cannon will turn on. This means the cannon will begin firing at 8.30 a.m. Press the mode button again. The furthest right displays number two. This time determines when the Electra will turn off. The Electra is now set to begin firing at 8.30 a.m. and turn off at 11.30 a.m. You may set up to four on-off periods per day using the mode button. Use the manual included with your Electra for help programming the time. Detach the battery clips from your Zon Electra. Now, extend the inner megaphone to your desired length. The longer the megaphone is, the louder the shots will be. Attach the gas regulator to your propane bottle and open up the valve on the propane bottle. Depress the red hose fracture button and hold it down for two seconds. Use soapy water and a brush to check for gas leaks. Now, stand behind the cannon and attach the battery. Caution, the cannon will now fire. Remember, the internal clock must be reset each time the battery is disconnected. 